Sweden Singer is doing something no one has ever done at her school, at least as far back as anybody could remember. Playing sports at Barrick has always like meant more than just like the sports, like we've always been representing a Jewish community. Singer will participate in the 21st Maccabiya, representing the United States in U18 soccer. And she won't be alone on the journey to Israel. The ability to have like other people around me that I know that I've that are also from Barrick, that are also sharing the same experience that I am is very helpful and very assuring. Jack and Barrick Hebrew Academy is a school with rich history. Founded in 1946, it was the nation's first ever pluralistic Jewish secondary school, with now 75% of its student body playing in athletics. And while that may sound impressive, for the first time in school history, they'll be sending not one, not two, not three, but four athletes to the 21st Maccabi Eye. Along with Singer, fellow junior Jenna Uffberg, sophomore Isaac Dahan, and eighth grader Michaela Trachtenberg were selected as members of the Maccabi USA delegation. I think that these four athletes playing their respective sports is a great representation of what we can offer both as a school academically, but then also as an athletic program. I think it also speaks to the fact that you can be a high level athlete at a Jewish day school. This is Jack and Barrick Hebrew Academy, a school nestled in Bryn Mawr a small town about 15 miles west of Philadelphia. We're Zionist Jewish Day School. We have been since our founding in 1946, and we are committed to raising the next generation of leaders who are committed to Am Yisrael. We've learned about the Maccabi games mm -hmm. in school. So this is just like taking that to the next level, like what they taught us about it had an influence on like what we did with it. Our teammates are our best friends. It's not like that a lot of other schools. As the youngest of Barracks four delegates, Trachtenberg will be playing on the USA's first ever under 16 girls basketball team. I'm one out of like 12 people or so on my team. And you just see USA and it's like amazing. And nobody else gets to wear USA except for me and like a few other kids. Her great grandfather played soccer in the Maccabi during the 1930s. It's really special because the line just continues and my grandpa gets to see me and then hopefully like it'll carry on and it's just really special that I get to be a part of this. Dahan will also have family ties to this year's games. His mom, Naomi, will join the U18 squash team as an assistant coach. I love the sport so much. It's been such a big part of me. It, it's like I blink and I go from the kid who's just watching his brother play to, oh my God, I'm going to the Maccabi being in Maccabi alone is enough of an experience to say that I succeeded. We hear about so much is that Jews are in athletes and to have this incredible opportunity for Jewish athletes is really inspiring and I'm very proud of Isaac. Unfortunately, there won't be a lacrosse division due to the lack of other teams worldwide, but Uffberg is nevertheless proud to have been selected to the roster. It was really exciting. Edith and I were in Israel together and we were actually on the bus with all our friends when we found out and we just got so excited and like started celebrating together. With the selection of these four athletes, the administration sees this as just the beginning. They would come back on a personal level with a deeper connection uh, to Israel for themselves, with a deeper connection to the Jewish people, and they'll bring that energy, that pride, uh, and that excitement into our halls. And I'd love to see this be the, the stepping stone for more of our students to go to Israel and participate in these games because I think that I, I know that we have the talent to do so.